Hi everybody. It is it is April 30, 2019. I was just watching this live stream Clifford Carnicom who is talking about the geoengineering bioengineering. He discusses Morgellons. This is a really good talk. Unfortunately, I was unable to really give it the attention that it deserves because a neighbor kept coming over so I had to keep stopping uh, kept stopping pausing the video um, but I believe it's still live going on and I will link below to this presentation yeah we all need to listen to it and we all need to um, be aware of confirmation bias so when someone says something that is counter to what you believe uh, you don't have to go and attack them. Just listen to them because they might have additional information that is necessary uh, to understand what is happening. And Clifford Carnicom uh, has been really the pioneer researcher in terms of what the hell are they spraying? What is falling down upon us? Well, after talking to my neighbor, I turned on the video again and I came across this picture and it reminded me of what I saw in Kentucky just before Christmas 2012. So that's what I'm going to be discussing. Um, and I want to thank Clifford Conacarm for all the work that he has done thank Ilana Freeland for all the work that she has done. They have provided us with so much information and it took a whole lot of time and energy to do the research, to write the papers, um, and that's in Clifford's case, to write the books in Ilana Freeland's case. And we owe a debt of gratitude for sure to these two um, good souls who really care about what is taking place. Okay, you see this? That um, these are what Clifford Carnicom came up with in looking at what was falling in a microscope. These are not hairs and it's not a spider web. He kept saying this is not a spider web and that's what reminded me of the video that I posted 2012. I saw this in Kentucky. I was staying at somebody's home. It was just before Christmas and what I, I was just passing this um, the door to the backyard and lights caught my eye. And I thought it was strange. So I went over and I saw something that I could not identify. I couldn't identify it. What the hell was this? All right, I'm going to play some of this. But I also want you to take a look at what I caught in film in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. I will link below to both videos. When I posted this on Kafka Winston World, and I was new to social media, uh, this went viral. Now, clearly, it has not gone viral on Never Lose Truth. Nothing has gone viral on Never Lose Truth. But what the hell is happening in the clouds? A sonic performance in the sky must see. Well, that was my first real uh, introduction to social media. Whoa! I couldn't believe I posted a video afterwards. I was like, oh my God, look at all of these comments. I got trolled so badly on this, and I was, I couldn't believe the language that people were using. They were calling me every name in the book and yada yada yada. I was, I was like this naive little kid on social media. What the hell is going on? All I did was post a video. I just, you know, I'm curious about what I caught here. Boom! 
I was attacked so badly. I was just a crazy nut job. All right, I want you to see this. Um, then you're observe. Okay. Do you see this rod that is literally just falling over? And then it rolls back up. It rolls down and rolls back up in what is, uh, it's perfect alignment. Now, I go into something else, but um, here's the rod. And you will see it literally fall. Something is powering this. Then it becomes this rectangle. And it literally falls down and rolls back up. It was quite extraordinary. Well, nanotechnology has been around for a l much longer than we realize. And I want to get to where you see it roll again. Sorry. Here it goes. Right there. All right, I will link below. You can watch the video. But we've got so many strange things happening. And I wish people would just, I don't know, turn on, you know, their childhood curiosity just to be curious instead of lashing out at people. It's so immature just to call people crazy nut jobs. And then they make up things for what it could be, you know? It's so stupid. Um, I show it again, but here it is. Rolls out and rolls back up. All right. So here, I I'm actually very disappointed. When I posted this on Kafka Winston World and then reposted it on Never Lose Truth, I am amazed that I did not get people kind of wowed by this and thinking, all right, what is this? What is this? It is not a spider web. Try to take those filters out of your brain right now and look at this kind of with a new eye. You see this thing? This is generating an awful lot of movement in what appears to be like little wires. This is not a spider. It also had lights, little bulbs of lights. They can see very clearly. This is what caught my eye when I was walking past that door. Now, I say in this video, which was true, there was no wind that night. It was a clear night. Most people just said, it's a spider. No, this is not a spider. Look at this. So you had a whole lot of movement, but look at these what appeared to be lights flashing. And why that picture on the video, in the video uh, with Clifford, that picture in his presentation, 
caught my eye is because there were little like hooks that were in this construction of this thing and I don't know what it is. So I wiped the window to make sure that everybody understood this was not just a dirty window. Okay, here we go. What the hell is this? Now, I took a lot of pictures, captures of this, which I'll show you in a minute. But, um, and I wanted to do, you know, a video. My editing program literally just stopped working right as I was about to do a video putting all of this together. But as you can see, this thing is moving and nothing else is, except you see little tugs happening. What this becomes longer, right below that, that little guy doing his work, um, it's getting longer. And I believe that whatever that thing was, it was, it was the propulsion that was making this thing bigger. I mean, how do you even look at all of the lights in this that are flashing? And yeah, that guy, and that looks like, you know, someone like a mummy, a mummy um, sitting with a baseball bat ready to strike. This thing was so bizarre. And here we go. Okay, this is moving. This guy right here is moving this entire thing. He develops this loop, but look at all of, it's like there's an electricity going through this, a frequency. This is what captured my eye when I was watching Clifford's presentation. Okay, well, here we go. No, this is not a spider web. And here you can see the movement of that is taking place. You can slow it down to uh, speed. Look how this is jutting up and down, up and down. Here you have something going up and up. That little bulbous lights. This looks like metal. I mean, it doesn't look like, um, it looks like a metal. So, I'd love it if you guys would weigh in. Uh, this has periodically just been on my mind. I wish someone like Clifford would take a look at it and uh, maybe help me try to understand what it was. You know, look, I've had a very different experience than a lot of you. Uh, my driving around the country for years and going here, there, everywhere, and boy, do you see an awful lot of weirdness in your country when you leave your bubble and you're free-floating. You're free-floating at 2, 3, 4 a.m. You see an awful lot in the sky, which I did. So it's, it's got a pulse 
in it. I mean, here, this is another part of this construction. And you can see the bulbous lights in this thing. And I did keep losing focus, but even with the loss of focus, you can see there's movement or lights flashing and a light goes off in this strand right here. It looks alive. It looks like some alien construction and I don't, you know, look, I've not gotten into the alien thing, but man, do we have a lot of weirdness going on that we have to really wonder. Um, but it was truly remarkable. And at one point, you see, it's, it's, I say in the video something like, I feel like I'm at a disco, because then you started seeing different colors of lights flashing. Yeah. No, this is not a spider web. Not at all. Not at all. All right, so I'll show you some of the uh, still captures that I took. But this whole thing, man, when you watch it, it's like, okay, uh, no, sorry, this is not a spider web. I don't know what it is. I do not know what it is. Look at the little lights here. You can see a strand beginning. This was literally just being constructed as I was filming. And then they had these god-awful cocoon looking things. Though, I spent an awful lot of time trying to find images of cocoons that looked something like this and I could not come up with any. And the cocoon itself was very bright, you know, illuminated by something, some kind of energy. Yeah. Something very strange is going on in our world. Don't you think? Okay, here are the captures. It, it was really remarkable how you had to get up very, very, very close to see that these illuminated cocoon-like things were, it was almost as if they were just emitting something, as you can see right around it, it's emitting something. Uh, spider web? You can see the different color lights. Purple, green, white. And this was that guy who was, you know, generating something. Uh, it almost looks like it's some kind of tiny, tiny mechanical robot. There it is. That was the, the, the little guy who looked like he was pumping something. But look at all the different colored lights. No bugs, no spiders. So what is it? What is it? What is this thing? Don't know, guys. 
don't know. So as you can see, this was not a spider. Whatever the hell it is, I don't know. But now looking at this, Clifford had another picture in his presentation, which looked similar. So yeah, guys, of course, years and years, I haven't gotten one person to really go, okay, that's something, what the hell is it? Everybody just kind of left comments like, oh, well, you know, la-di-da, la-di-da. No, 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 no. No. creates <laughs> energy that creates this web. Look at this. I mean, it's like a little uh, rectangle with a hook that goes on up to this guy who's pumping something. All of these lights here. It's, it's hard to deal with all of this when you're alone. So you're like hoping to get the kind of response you know, in the cyber world. And um, I'm not looking for any of you to make up a response. No, that's not it. But something, that, you know, when you see something and you're getting back the feedback that says, I don't see it, it's like, okay, dokie. All right, well, you can't see that this is eliminated. And this, you know, you've got all of these lights. No, this is not a spider web. Okay, so these are the captures. You can pause the video if you want and take a closer look. But this thing is weirder than weird. Yeah, it does look like a little person sitting here. Here's a guy that it looked like just a hook, this wire hook. All right. Yep, another hook on. Crazy construction. <sighs> yeah, um, sorry, I don't have an editing program to, you know, do what I wanted, but I think that this is enough to uh, generate some discussion. Yeah, not a spider. All right, guys, I'll link below to the videos. And if you can't catch uh, Clifford Carnicoms and Elena Freelance live stream, it will be. Uh, recorded so it will be posted on YouTube please check it out uh, both have very important information to pass on to us thanks guys